All right, this is an early access demo. It's called Power Lost. It's actually a mobile game as well. So we got WASD for movement, feedback, settings, have a look. Damage numbers, screen shake, off. Zoom and slow motion, auto run, uh-oh. I feel that's a toggle between walking and running. Uh, it's capped at 60, we can go higher. I'm gonna leave it, I'll leave it at 70, see what happens. Full screen on, bloodbath. Yeah. Um, camera mode, top down, third person, perspective, first person, interesting. And graphics. Alright, cool. Gamepad setup. Okay. I'll leave that as it is. Uh, so yeah, so old school action RPG travel through in an open world, design your own character class, and feed your lust for power. Aha, that's the name of the title. Uh, by crushing your foes, a bonus repair ability thanks to procedural generation, tons of abilities and items, optional op optional permadeath for hardcore roguelike fans. So early access action RPG, hack and slash RPG, is isometric, dark fantasy, procedural generation, open world, dungeon crawler, controller, fantasy, non-linear, atmospheric, action, old school combat, PvE, co-op, multiplayer, online co-op, early access. Uh, and there is a warning. This is only new on Steam. I've only realized it's um, been happening lately. Uh, it has a warning that there is AI generated content only in the loading screens. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to put all of the details for the contact information and, and where to get this and all that kind of stuff in the description. It's not just Steam. You don't actually have to play it off Steam. You can go to his website. He has a YouTube channel. He has a Twitter. He has a Facebook. He has a Discord server that apparently is quite active. I'm not on it. Um, I don't know if I'll be on it or not. I'm not real sure. Uh, and I'll also link the Google Play Store uh, so you can go and see it on the Google Play Store and according to the reviews on Google Play it is highly regarded. Uh, there are no microtransactions, only ads for the mobile and apparently I can't get any clarity on what's going to happen with that with this. Okay. So design your own class Class Warrior Mage. So, I guess that's the difference between melee and... Or maybe physical and magic, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go Mage. Fire, Arcane, Water, Shadow, Necromancy. I like Necromancy. Uses staves as his main weapon. What's Illusion? Okay, so... Nothing changes, basically. It's just the first two bits of text. Alright, and it also looks like there is no gender, which is fine. I don't really care. So... Okay, story and dungeon. So story mode apparently is sort of not really fleshed out. But that's, that's the big thing happening in the PC version. And dungeon seems to be the procedurally generated stuff. So we'll just... Well, I'm going to stick with whatever it's set to. So we've got chill, normal, hardcore, does it tell me? Easier combat, light free gen, normal, gold, lost on death, hardcore, death means death. Cool, quest markers are on. Alright. Get out. Ooh. Okay, I'm looking at my OBS feed and it's very smooth, it's nice, but me actually playing it, it feels like this is running at 30 frames. There is a little bit of a delay. There's a little bit of a delay with the... Okay. It's not very smooth. Looks like everything is breakable, which is good and bad at the same time. What is space doing? Nothing. It's just blipping in place. I instinctually went to space for jump. 
Uh, so it looks like we can't break it. Right mouse click seems to do a roll. You can break doors. Basic attack gives you energy you can use it to cast. Well, I can't cast anything really. What's that? Don't know. Can I break that? Nope. So this is an avoid. If I. Yep, okay, so iframes. Sweet. Found a new ability, Ray Skeleton. Oh wow, okay. You can find new abilities with spellbooks, basic attacks, generate energy, other abilities cost energy. Okay. You can find new items, they're in your inventory. You can equip to sell them. Abilities get bonus described in the ability description. Yep. Require high mastery. So many enemies are elites. They are a lot stronger, they have resistances. This is the kind of stuff that you introduce to me bit by bit. Alright. Find book stands, use abilities. Is that? There seems to be like a reticule, like a, a telegraph that I make. That's kind of cool. Alright. Not enough energy. Right. So what did I use my energy on? Does... Oh, okay. Oh, he died. Wrecked. Uh, friend? Must be. This stone is incredible. E. The stone is emanating energy. It draws you in. You decide to touch it. Everything goes black. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this is a little jank. Alright, so I've got illusion stuff now. Let's shift. Skeletons gonna have. Do they last forever? I've got what four, yeah? Got four. Get them, boys. seems to have a bit of, it seems to struggle a little bit when there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen. The music cuts in and out. The enemies seem to have a bit of trouble with collision detection as well. They want to swarm in on me but they really can't. So I have no idea what I'm doing and why I'm doing this. So it's still the same quest. Get out, kill the guards. Can we open that door? No. There's no items dropping either. Or is this supposed to be some sort of dream sequence or something? Tab? I thought tab did map, tab does inventory. And I've got controller prompts, even though I'm using a keyboard. Yeah, there's a bit of blur when I move. I don't know if that's a frame rate thing. I did cap the frame at seven, the frames at 70. It only seems to do 70 when I'm when I am not moving. So if I don't move, the game runs quite smooth. But as soon as my character starts moving, it starts to sort of chug a bit. And I don't know why. 
It's very strange. There was a slow-mo there, but I have no idea why. I was trying to get away from something. What happened? Was that a vision? Is this your future? Will you have this much power? I don't know, man. You tell me. You'll turn on the story. Yeah, okay. Can we talk to this guy? We can. You have passed out. I'm so glad you are out. I can't get myself. I've seen these orcs. They're terrifying. Please help me get through this. Sure, stay back and I'll get rid of them. I think you should go first. Nah, we'll be, we'll be a good person. Help me, please. Mm-hmm. So, oh, it's limited range. Look at that. It's in the, it's in the telegraph. We're not doing anything. That's annoying. Yeah. Kill a few orcs in the cave. You feel strange sensation after each kill. You get a surge of power with every defeated enemy. Was it the stone that gave you this power? I don't know, man. You tell me. Level 2. Leveling gives you mastery points. You can upgrade your masteries. Okay. How? E. Enter. Woo. Thank you. Oh, what was that? Now we just need to get to the village. It's west from here. Alright, so... Can we go... We can go back? I like that. That's good. And he's gone. Huh. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Alright, let's do an explore. Alright, so... There's nothing interesting this way. Travel. E. Location isn't available yet. Uh, I would be looking at um, doing that culling thing for the camera so that when the camera has um, foliage and something to deal with, it sort of cuts it in half or just fades it out of it, just so I can see what's going on. And it seems we're on a grid. I did see this stuff, picked up an item staff. Alright, double click attack, uh, double click. Puts it on, which is good, nice, intuitive, just like every other game. There's no sense to reinventing the wheel for the sake of being unique. So... I'm using magic, but there's so much blood, it's, it's, it's funny. It looks out of place, but um, it's not, not game-breaking. these up. Oh, it's down here. Nothing. It's nothing interesting this way. I don't like that. I hope that, I hope that's just a temporary thing. If you've got procedure generation, dude, turn it on. And like, let me just go endlessly. So the game seems to slow down its frame rate when I'm in combat, if that's an intended effect. Uh, abilities get bonus, yep, some abilities. Alright, so if we go through this, are you going to tell me blacksmith, max character is 50, board attack, bread portals, teleport to town, yep, cool. So, how, wh where's the mastery button? picked up an item. Is that a blue star? It is. Can we have it so that when my mouse highlights it actually shows what it is? That'd be nice. Equipped. Oh, it's got comparison, which is nice. I like that. Double click it. Yep. Okay, cool. Intuitive. I like it. Yeah, these invisible walls, man. That's the invisible wall the entire way. That's... It's very jarring. Especially, like, like, Steam says to me, this game's like Lost Ark and Path of Exile, you'll like it. And it's like, yeah. 
Uh, sorta. Hello, hi, hey, hi. Stay a while and listen? Sure. Gathering herbs. Sure, I'll help you. Uh, hidden between the trees and the... Yeah, I actually saw those. So, so there's red things. You can be the always. You must be capable of adventure. What is that you want? Visit my wife's grave. The cemetery is full of skeletons. Can you please get rid of them? Sure. Cemetery is not far. Just follow the road west. Turn south. At the first crossing. Leave. All right, we'll go back. Oh, you. Stop. Who are you? Don't be afraid, Rolf. He was captured by the orcs just like me. He helped me escape. Ah, oh, in that case, feel free to come in. Mate, I've already been through there, man. Alright, so what do you want now? Get out of Orc territory. Uh. Yeah, he ain't working. Alright. Go back and pick up these mushrooms. We're gonna get some respawns? Instant respawns. Ooh, upgrades. He's got a flaming arrow. Ooh, and these guys. Damn. Are these just gonna... Not enough energy. enough energy. It's that. It's another staff. It's another fucking staff. There's three. Alright, so it was through here, wasn't it? Uh, is it? Maybe, maybe I was just going stupid. We'll kill these guys anyway. Another staff. Shoulder armor. Boots. Alright. There's no need to look at them now because they're brand new and I've... Whatever. Alright. Um, masteries. Inventory masteries. Abilities. Quests. Destroy the skeletons. That turns it on and off. Okay. Abilities. Poison. Can we... Ability selection. Equip here. Equip here, equip here, overload. Overload makes this feel stronger, but also costs more energy. Boom. 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 What does that do? Did, did that work? I don't know. Nothing's in there, so that can stay at 100. What's this? Ray skeleton. 300%. But what does it do, though? What does the 300% do? Do the uh, skeletons hit harder? Do I have more? Do they move faster? Is that what Master and Grandmaster is? Because if that's Master and Grand... Oh, no, that's Mastery. This is Overload. Basic spells can only be equipped on that. Oh, so you're going you're gonna to lock me into having four... Four abilities. I see. Uh, necromancy, knowledge about the Dark Arts. Give 5% bonus to your health to your... 5% bonus health to your undead minions. Alright, and I can't use my scroll wheel. I have to click and drag because mobile game press y to increase level so i can't even spend anything right is that what you're saying i need 15 mastery points i have three important masteries all magic ability to enhance energy in the world increase your energy cap by 10 percent one mastery point you have 15 Mastery point. Oh. Right. Okay. I'm reading it wrong. It's it's three in the morning. I've had a busy day. Um. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. What is this? Power to the dead. Young min uh, minions do 20% more damage. One more skeleton. Minions move faster. Yeah, right. One talent point there. Did that work? It didn't. It will cost one talent point. Yes. You need necromancy level one. Right. Now we can do it. Okay. Ninjas are faster. What's this? Damage, 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 damage. More skeletons. Golem. 
Minions are faster, resistance, and immune to poison. Ooh, okay. All right, well, let's have one more skelly. Can we do it again? We can't. So I need this to be level four. Two mastery points. Three, four. We'll get that one. One telepoint. And now we need level seven. We need to reach character level 10. Okay, so it's a ladder. We're stepping. Minions are faster, sure. All right. We have five points. Spell power. So what the spell power does. There's a lot of reading. More spell power. Spell crits. 10% chance for more energy, sure. Well, we need three mastery points. Meditation. One mastery point. Finesse. Vitality. Magic resistance. Armor. Weapons. Fencing. Berserker. Well, ability to haggle. Fire magic army. Uh, shadow magic. Illusion magic. Legend. You can upgrade ability up to level 13. 25. Wow, there's a lot. Necromancy weapon. Archery. Arrow strike. Well, I don't have a bow, do I? Poison. And I can't overload poison. Alright, I've had enough of that. That's, um... Yeah. It's getting too much for me. Gather herbs. I thought those mushrooms were herbs. My bad. We'll just go back to the village, and then we'll keep going west. Is M for map? M is for map. I should have checked that beforehand. But push... So pushing M opens the map. Pushing M again does not close the map. That's a bit annoying. Alright. Gather herbs. Big red X. Okay. I mean, I don't know what I expected. You're welcome. Heads to the city west from here. Will you take them to the healer? Sure, I'll do that. Oh god, back into the menus. <laughs> 50 gold, 2000 XP. Yeah, okay. We raise? Here we can. What is he doing? He is spazzing out. Hello, boys. Staff. There's a portal rip there, too. Uh, get back to the village. Yeah, no, not yet. What's this? Oh, that's right. Equipped. So, this one's better. This one's better. Equipped 21. Alright. Enter. Oh, it feels really sluggish here. Oh, these are traps. Can we roll through? I think we can. Yeah. Some enemies are elites. Don't take over the screen like that, my god. Oh, no, leave me alone. Yellow shield and some blue gauntlets. None of 
enough energy. Alright. Can we break that? We can. Health. Okay. Alright, there's a book here too. Is this another ability? Creeping Doom. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think what would be really cool is if I can move and cast at the same time, even if there was a pen penalty to the damage, because it feels so sluggish. Alright, so... What this? We can't have both, can we? No, we can't. Alright, and then we have... Shoulder... Uh... Water damage and gold find, but mine's got life and spell power, that's probably better. Gauntlets. Braces. Equipped. I didn't even know I had braces equipped. Oh, there you go. Alright. Shift. Oh, yeah, okay. Six. Another star. Oh. It's so sluggish. I feel like I'm being locked. Locked in place and I can't... Can't do anything. I'm being poisoned. Anything in here? What's that? Is that energy? Not sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's like there's a motion blur on the game that I can't turn off. Okay, so the Doom thing happens immediately in front of my player character, not where I target it. That's a bit annoying. I mean, it's fine. It's just something I'm gonna get used to. So there's three. There's four. There's two. There's three. So I can only have two. Did I have? Did I have four before? Oh, whatever. All right. Um. Now what? Is that it? Did I hit a dead end? Or did the procedural generation stop? Uh, we'll go back. I'm just watching the map as well. There's like a... A little white... Thing just here. Here we go. Quest step added. Destroy the skeletons. Get back to the village. Yeah, just here. Hmm, don't know. Alright, it still feels really slug. Can we make it so that the skeletons don't um, trigger the traps? That'd be cool. Maybe when I'm out of combat, they don't trigger. Otherwise, like Skyrim, Lydia shoots the trap and kills herself or kills you or both. Or maybe that's just part of the fun. Alright, we're going to go back to the village and then we're going to go to the city. Destroy the skeletons. Destroy the nest. Here is the reward. Alright, we move on. Do skeletons nest? I mean, if there were bird skeletons, they would nest. Human skeletons don't nest. They sort of linger. What would you call it? That I don't even I don't even know what you would call it. A graveyard of skeletons. We don't let anyone in. I have a delivery to the healer. All right, you can come in. Well, that was fucking easy. 
No one enters. I have a delivery. You may enter. I heard that you got orcs prison alive. I heard you got out of the orcs prison alive. What did you see there? Uh, there was this stone. I see. Thank you for the report. Uh, all of my soldiers are busy keeping orcs away. There are some things in town that need attention. Can you please help the villagers? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Help the people in town. Yep, you've just said that. Alright, so we've got these little icons here. We've got stash. Is that you? Trade. Alright, sell. Sell all. Yes. Buy. Buy price 185. We got purples. Helmet. 513. Where's my where's my currency? Oh, 1,310. Okay. Alright. Um... Is this armor? Armor, magic resist, magic resist, magic resist. Okay. Pitchfork? That's a pretty strong pitchfork. Um... 27%. 26%. Energy, water, spell damage. Life, lightning, speed. Weapon damage bonus. I don't even know what I'm what I need. So I'm just not gonna do anything. Come closer. Very oh, great, you have a package. Here's your girl, thank you. Goodbye. Stash. 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 Uh no sir, there is no stash. Upgrade. So, what's, oh, okay, so this is different to the other one. Okay, well, let's upgrade poison. Because that's the one that gives me energy. Alright, rank two. Okay, I've got ten gold left, but I upgraded that. Would it be nice if there was some damage increase as well, but no. Finally, someone who can help. We need uh, spell ingredients from the war. Please gather them in the tomb. I'll do that. The tomb is not far, near the road to the south. Uh, we need more iron to craft. Uh, we need you to get iron from the cave nearby. Alright, let's cave a little bit to the south. Yep, so breadcrumbs. Okay. What's the X? There's an X right here, and I don't know what that's for. Uh, clear the cave, gather ingredients, villagers helped. I guess the X is the villagers, the two villagers I need to help, so we need to go south. What is that? Buy. 30 gold to buy a town portal scroll. Whatever. Alright, so what's over here? Ah, okay, tomb. Alright, so we just go in it, enter, yep, and so this is the dungeon stuff, this is the procedural generation. Oh, he's strong. So, two skellies, some gauntlets. Get my ass handed to me. How do I use my potion? You found a town portal scroll. Yeah, great. I really don't like how it takes over the entire screen, though. Helmet. Oop.
Oh, I'm almost dead. I found some boots though. They don't really look like equipped. Fuck all. Energy and spell power. Nice. Oop. Equipped. Oh, okay, so I got the better one. That's cool. This one? Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, P? No? N? Q? Q for potion. Yeah, the game really does not like these traps. Because every time I get to one of these rooms and close to it, it tanks. Yeah, the animation locking. If, um... If the spelling, uh, spelling, if the spell casting was a little bit quicker, I reckon it'd be okay. But I get locked into place, and as I'm getting locked into place, I can't avoid the projectiles. Maybe it's a skill issue. I just, I just get like bombarded and I can't do anything because my, when I do a primary attack, I can't move. Um, and the energy regeneration isn't fast enough that I can dodge reliably. That and the sluggish, sluggishness of the whole thing too. So it feels like there's a bit of a delay when I do an ability. There's also some collision when Oh no, there isn't. Nope, that's not collision, that's just because the, um, the traps. Okay. Alright, we got a yellow helmet now. What's this? Uh... I don't think that's gonna do anything for me, that two-handed sword, so we'll just do nothing. Um, oh, I don't really care about the masteries right now. I just want to get out of here. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Like, it's cool. I don't mind. Um. I, I'm intrigued by the fact that, um, you've gone wazzed to movements. Uh, not the traditional click to move, as is famous with this genre. Um. I just sit here and wait for them to come through all the traps. Uh, if only you had a bit more range. That boss just tanked it. Armor. Um, yeah, so it just needs a bit of polish and it should be fine. God, these are tanky. Oh, it's an elite. Purple boots. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, yellow boots equipped. These purple boots are crap. Yeah. Cool, whatever. That health? That is health. Okay. Ray skeleton level increased. How did that happen? And what does that do? Bring black, bring, bring black the ingredients. Bring back the ingredients. Uh, 
have no idea what's going on. I have three skeletons. Happy day. There's some funky stuff happening here with the corpses. I guess we just go back now. Oh, pardon me. Oro Town Portal. T? Nope. Um, town. Yes. Town Portal is T. Everybody knows this. You. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, you wanted the stone or the iron or whatever. Alright, cool. You're happy. Alright, we'll go dump all this shit on this guy. Sell. Sell all. Yep. Um, and then we'll upgrade some skills again. Um, what have we got here? Ray Skellingtons. Next rank is a thousand. Any damage increased by 10%. Yep, sure. Cool. Alright. Now we go south. Clear the cave. Can do. Hopefully. The big red X on the map. Where it's going to pop up. What's this? Here. Cave full of iron. Indeed. That is exactly the cave we need to go in. Not the cave full of copper. Bye. What's this? You can't have any more potions. Says who? And who's taking the money? And where's it go? Beetles. They're just going to sit there and take it. Perhaps they are friendly beetles. Friendly beetle? Well, the skeletons are going to bully them anyway. Oh, slow-mo. I don't understand the reason for the slow-mo. You found a new ability, Dragon Breath. I see. How am I finding these abilities? Yes, Dragon Breath indeed. Shape purple balls. Not a fantasy. Percentage of regeneration seems to slow everything down a little bit too, so you lose momentum, which is not really not fun. Don't get me wrong, like Decent. The game, I mean. The game's okay. I just think there's something wrong with these bugs. They're not pathing, they're not attacking or anything. Or if they are, I'm not seeing it. The lingering poison is quite annoying. And is that my own poison, though? Because that's weird. Looks like getting burnt by your own fireball. Should be illegal. Is he alive? No. Press step added. Report pack. Why? Did we see something? There doesn't seem to be any obvious thing that I've done. Yeah. 
I would have thought they'd be like... Because we were supposed to... Cave full of iron. I thought we were supposed to like... Do something with the iron. Find the iron. We were just killing bugs. It doesn't seem like anyone is here to actually do any mining. That's alright. It's all good. Blue. Blue gauntlets. Oakley doakley. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what's going on with the graphics. It seems to be very blurry on my end. Um, unfortunately, to the point where I don't think I could play this for an extended period of time without actually having to walk away from it and and whatnot, because it 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 is it's like a motion blur that I can't turn off, and it it does. I hate motion blur, only because it makes my eyes sting, and I just don't find it enjoyable. Needs to get rid of the monsters. Now we can mine safely. Ah, okay, cool. All right, well that makes sense then. Okay, now we go talk to the commander. Uh, we have a few refugees. Unfortunately, that's all for the playing. You can check out the dungeon mode too. Yes. All right. Crypt of the Damned. Yeah, look, I'm gonna leave it there. What's this teacher? That was the trainer. Show more, show more, show more, show more. What does show more do? You need to pay 160 gold to show the rest of my wares. Oh, so do you have like more abilities and shit? Well, that's interesting. So there's going to be massive builds, which is cool. All right, and there's the stash. Right, so that stash wasn't in before. Okay, and then we've got... There's supposed to be someone here. There's no one there. Get the trader. No. A trainer. So hold on. Trainer and then teacher. So there's must must be an, an another tier of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Stop taking it over the screen. Blacksmith. So, I'm guessing... Oh yeah, upgrade and modify. Modify. Choose the stat to replace. Okay. Alright, that's cool. What's you? Trade. Uh, you've got shit. Alright. What's this? Actually, we should just check it out real quick. Alright, that's better. Equipped robe, that's better. Um, that's got better spell power. Um, that one's okay. That one's fine. That's all right. Cool. Oh, what's going on here? Is that meant to be happening? Customize. Armor customization on. Oh, look at that. Fucking transmog. I've got no arms. So it's a little jank, but I appreciate that. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's something going on. It's, it's something... Oh, it's the, um... It's my skeleton's weapons. Right. Okay. Cool. Back to the dungeon. Alright. We'll do this real quick. That is your ability poison arrow. Yeah, in certain areas, the game, the frame rate just tanks.
like the, the labyrinths are pretty interesting. I do like the set dressing and all that kind of stuff. It's quite nice. Uh, the skeletons are getting caught on stuff, so the pathfinding needs a bit of work. Is that another level? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just going to keep going. Defeat the ghoul. Yeah, so while I'm spamming attacks, I can't do anything else as well. So I can't... There's no spell stacking. Poison level increase. Nice. So I'm doing the basic attack and then I hit the space and it kinda does it kinda does recognize, but it it doesn't it's not very reactive. You gotta smash the key a couple of times for it to register. Slow motion. I don't think the slow motion is worth it. Maybe later on. Maybe. But, um... I don't think the slow motion adds to this. I don't like the fact that my I'm getting damaged by my own poison too. And if it's not my own poison, then their poison should be a different colour, so I can at least tell. Red portals. Boss room. Alright, let's have a look at what we got. What's this? Shoulder armor. Life, spell power, energy. It's better all round. Sweet. This one. Um speed, arcane damage, block. Nope. This one, uh, this one seems to be better all around, except for the spell power, but magic resistance, etc. Um, it seems to be all good. All right, cool. Let's go have a look. Oh, a very small room. All right, um... So, control. Oh wow, they just like... Almost one shot me. Fucking energy, man. Ooh, chaos. Killed your boss. Right, we can, we can, we can desecrate his corpse. All right, cool. Back to town. Back to town. All right, what do we get? Fifty-one percent energy, water damage, and arcane. Cool. And this one. Uh. No. I'll sell the rest. Sell, sell all. Four grand. Nice. Alright. Teacher. Temporarily abuse your melee weapon. Short range attack. 
Okay, yep. Learn this ability. Arcane Barrage. Six fast projectiles. That sounds interesting. Shadow Fist. Fade. Makes you invisible. Cool. So there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. I reckon it's, um... I reckon it'd be pretty cool. It just needs a bit of, um... Needs a bit of polish. Which, you know, is, is totally fine. Alright, so... Fire. Arcane. There we go. Equip here. You need arcane magic level 4. Masteries. Um, arcane magic. 1, 2, 3, 4. What can we get here? Killing an enemy with an arcane spell gives you 10 energy. Increased resistance. Well, we'll grab that one. What's this? Killing an enemy with an arcane spell gives you additional energy. Increased chance to block. What's this one? Chance to resist. Oh, whatever. Um, I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. That's alright. Um, I think it needs a bit of a sandbox mode, maybe. Um, with the abilities, like a builder. Like a simulacrum. Um, where you can just sort of plan the build out. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't seen the mobile version, so I'm really not sure. And I've been going for an hour, so that's a good sign. So yeah, um, it's not bad. It's, um... It's... It's okay. I would play this over Diablo Immortal. And I would play this over Diablo 4. Um... But... I wouldn't play it over Path of Exile or Path of Exile 2. Um, but it sits there sort of in the middle. Um, and from what I can understand as well, um, there's no cross-platform or cross-save, but from what I've seen in the discussions, the dev says that you can export your data from your mobile and import it into the PC version and it should copy across. Um, so that's cool. Um, I'm sure later on down the track he might be or they might be able to automate that um, But I guess I just see just a wait and see to see how Popular the game gets and what happens with it, but um, yeah, I like it so far. It's not too bad um, Yeah, just a bit of funkiness with the NPCs their pathing the skeletons in their pathing is pretty jank um, Needs a bit of work on that and it, I'm on an I'm on a 7900 XTX, uh, and it tanks when the traps are active, and when my character is not moving, and there's lots of stuff happening on the screen, it's fine. But as soon as my character starts moving, everything goes to shit. So I'm not too sure about that. So yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty good. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.